Hello everybody, welcome back. We are still at the multi-leveled house, uh, multi-leveled, multi-level roof house. <laughs> and um, I did a couple of things yesterday after I'd finished recording. I put this little hedge outside here. It just, it felt like it needed it. I know the picture that I'm looking at had the hedge, well I had some plants there but I couldn't find a match so I thought the hedge would work with all the squares and lines that we've got working here. That's the stretchable hedge. And then I also slightly changed the patio here. It's really big. And then I also extended the stairs here to the deck. This will be a swimming pool eventually. I'm not sure if I'm going to try and make an, an infinity pool, if it's possible. But, I mean... How much, how much fun is that to swim with the sea right at your door? I don't know. I'd rather swim in the sea, but that's just me. All right, so this is the back of the dining room as we stand and look through the window. You'll see this is a much higher level, but that's okay. The windows, that's why the windows aren't totally floor length here, yeah? because the patio actually comes right up to there but we have doors here oh that was open <laughs> and it's just a matter of coming around eventually we will build the swimming pool so coming in here we did the little dining well breakfast nook I was thinking of putting a bench along that window instead of the chair but I'm not too sure. The, I, does the oven door open? Yes, you see the oven door opens as it is right now. I have used the move tool to get all the everything into place. And you can see every now and then there are some glitches on the counters every now and then. You can see that one's not quite in line. As well, we might need to move that just a smidgen back and a smidgen over. You can see it starts glitching at the back there. And yes, these cupboards won't be. You won't be able to open them, I don't think. We can try uh, that. Looks better. They're nicely lined up now. Now, for these, oh, you can still open them. Awesome. Even if they squished into each other, they are can be opened so that's a positive all right our clock with purple hands is on the wall and as you can see i'm restraining restraining myself horribly with regards to the furnishing these walls i'm not sure what we're going to do with them yet but the one thing that i have been thinking about is yesterday we did this amazing bathroom in here now these little things are not huge but i was thinking of a coffee table now if i do that and i don't sell it we change it these are different shapes you can have just the straight straight cube with a door with a lift door two drawers and then the basket so what I was thinking of is maybe the cube now the feet that we've used on the sofa are black but then they've got the white tops also and the legs on the tables so I was thinking of using these as 
the legs of coffee table just don't know how big I want the coffee table to be so I'm going to use the pattern in the carpet and I was thinking of you'll see we can make it smaller if needs be that is quite a big coffee table so let's move it in slightly And use the move tool but I don't think it's necessary right now you'll see I'm turning these little boxes so that they will hmm. you actually have I want to see Can I resize them? No, I can't. Okay, so if I've got that, I've got two options. I can use these or I can use, you know, that little brick. But I was thinking this is quite cool because it actually gives you the cube, which pretty much is that. So let's find us our piece of wood. Where is it? Building accessories, isn't it? No? Elements. Where's my piece of wood? I'm sure I scrolled right past it. There it is. Now the chipboard, you can select the wood. Now this is the wood that we've got on... These tables. Uh, let us start with the move tool and we are working with a carpet okay let's see that is that is pretty much be looking for and then we're gonna do that and now we can enlarge it now we can we can play with the size of it because we have options here we can resize it almost but not quite So the top is not quite as big as the legs you see now we can actually see our legs are in the right place which is also awesome I will push it down a little bit further once I've got everything else sorted out Let me move you I could pick it up necessarily what I'm wanting it's pretty good there you know, everything is pretty much lined up where we want it with it for hours now, as you see this needs to go in slightly but you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put these around on the corner here Let's 
you'll see that the plywood is actually not quite on top yet. And also, from this angle, you can actually see that the plywood is slightly off. this and take it down it's not you'll see it the only way to actually figure it out flat is to just push it down and then you'll see how it flattens out. It's quite interesting. It's an interesting texture to it. Obviously, I'm going to pull it up again. I'm not going to leave it with the feet st sticking through. There we go. What does it look like from a distance? It looks quite chunky. Maybe these legs need to be what? That actually works quite nicely. And it's almost exactly in the center. Don't you hate that? Move to okay. Let's do this. only problem is they don't have a button that like connects it all but I have found if you found that button let me know all right is that now too far over Maybe. It looks, I'm just looking at the floor, that should be even, because the carpet is even. The carpet is even to the sofas, I'm going to go with the carpet and the sofas rather than the fireplace. So we have a coffee table, which I think is really cute. And then we can maybe put some books on it and a little plant so let's find us a nice big chunky hmm. 
Technico Fishery Illustrated Guide. Ah, 101 uses for basil and tomatoes. A room with a view. That's actually quite cool. That's a nice coffee table size book. And yes, we cannot put it onto the table simply because it doesn't sit on the plywood. Now I like my, my stuff slightly off the, the straight. It does drive a couple of people crazy, I know. Apologies for that, but you know, it's one of those things. Now if only I had a nice square pot. What colour pot should we put? work. Yes, we're going to have to do the same move object. What plant do we want in it? We need a tiny one. I want pansies. Maybe that's cute. we have something on our coffee table now I'm thinking if okay I'm thinking if we have any maybe that one I see about the bold let's do maybe the ebony White shade. And right there, and we can connect it to that. There is quite a light, lot of light on this side of the room. Maybe I need to move it over here. What do you say? That just brightens up that section. Again, I'm just tempted to add more, but I am restraining myself. <laughs> I am being good. It's hard. Okay, it's it's really hard. All right. I'm thinking of putting a sofa or something. Oh, why am I in the shelves when I'm looking at the sofas? I don't know if I want a sofa or an ottoman. Maybe that. Right there. And then do I want a blue one? Or do I want this? Might be quite cool. Let's see. That looks quite interesting. I can live with that. Now we need something here. I don't know if I want an art piece or if I want you know, something really like that. Let's 
more. How big is that? Small. A bit better and it actually I think is a plant pot. So maybe we should use that and just plant something in it. Because it is really cool. Question is can we put a plant in there? Could. Mm, maybe the monstera. You see, it does plant the monstera in me. It's quite a nice little feature piece. I like it. It's still very light and airy, considering that we've got black bases on all our stuff so yay I like it all right we're getting somewhere I would like to put a carpet in here but I don't know if I actually want Let's look. So no fringe. Right. So let's go with this strap suede. Let's try it and see what it looks like. That's not bad. Maybe we would like to make that slightly darker. It doesn't just take over the entrance. Yes, I think that'll work. Do we want an orchid here? Can I put an orchid here? I'm going to put an orchid here. Is this pot too small? Yes, it is. All right, let's let's get a pot of the orchid. It's going to have to be a small pot. I wouldn't mind that little square again. But I don't think... Eh. I wonder... Can, can the orchid fit in here? Let's try it. Oops, <laughs> I backed into the wall there. Very nice, I like that. Okay, moving away before I get too involved with placing stuff. I was thinking of putting a clock face up here as well. We have all day core. Let's see. I do like that, this clock. We could probably go with something like that. Just does another feature over the, the passage doorways. I think that'll work. Now the one place that I am going to give myself a little bit of breathing room is in the informal living room. 
because I'm going to put a TV on the wall here. I'm going to have slightly more comfy sofas. Well, obviously that's the huge formal living area. There aren't any... There's no TV. Oh, you need a TV. Now, of course, if you're having breakfast and you want to catch up on whatever's happening, you can do that too. All right, low storage. Let's see what we have to play with. That's a shoe cabinet. <laughs> um, that's quite nice. Ooh. Handles. I think I might change the front just to a straight in front. That works. And we can put a sofa right here behind us. And no, I'm not building the sofa today. I am going to. We'll probably use is it this one. Now we've got let's go down here. We've got the lavender. We've got that light blue. I'm thinking am I going nuts? Maybe this colour. Is that too pink? Because we've got the pastels going on through the house. I just don't know if that's too pink. So let us see what other colours. Maybe. No. Mm, I'd say that one. It's like a peach. I really like that. And then we can get another one of these. For the corner here. And then we've got Comfy, the comfy area. Just sit, put your feet up, watch a movie, catch up on the news, whatever you want to do. I think I'm going to copy this so that we've got some continuity through. And then probably an ottoman. Over here, when required. Now we can maybe have some fun with this ottoman. Let's just back towards the bathroom. Okay, to open the door. I want to see the colour of this out of my eye when I change this. We've got a lot of stripes, we've got this pattern in the living room, the other living room. Liking that, I'm also liking that. That one actually has my heart, I think. We have lots of colours here to play with. We can 
That's the colour on the chairs. Then we can probably put some pillows on the sofa. I don't know where they are. Pillows. There we go. We'll just move them. Let us copy that. We could probably go for one more, but I am restraining myself. <laughs> I promise I'm restraining myself. I think carpet in here would also be good. I don't want to go for... Let's see how big this is before I place it. It should work. But it's just not have a fringe and we can probably go for the suede and then once again we're bringing a slightly darker color but it sort of matches there And then we can actually go for the oh, we haven't got any lights in here yet have we no we don't i'm thinking of putting a huge bookcase on this wall let me know if i'm crazy does this beam Probably doesn't, but what is it over here? Okay, that goes to the window there. That beam will knock that halfway doesn't quite work either. You can see my, my roof is slightly off on that side. For whatever reason. In fact, it even looks slightly off if you look at it carefully. I have no idea why. Probably because my walls are not even. I'm not going to argue. All right, we are going to use, I think, is there that big standing lamp? Oh, where are my lights? Let's get us a light switch in here. This probably will connect with everything else, but that's fine. 
and let's start floor lamps we do have this so let's use this which is mirroring the little one in there we do have a space for it in here looks a little off be perfectly honest it doesn't quite look right but it'll do that open that lights that up quite nicely I suppose we should get some windows I want All the ones here. I don't know if that's going to look strange out or not. Now we've got the two windows there. If we try and do that up here as well. sit right on the beam there. Let's do that. I think that'll work. And then those are echoed in here. And we've got nothing here, which is fine because that's the TV. Alright. I am happy so far. The only thing I'd like to put here would be Perhaps a hanging plant. I don't want it. I don't that sort. Maybe this one. figure out what plant fits in here. I feel that I'm muttering today, so I apologize for that. Are you a standy? Okay, you are a hangy plant. That's golden though. I don't want the golden one. I want that one it's like you're going to sit on the ottoman it's going to tickle you in the ear. <laughs> All right. Something on by the TV. Maybe a nice big pot. How about a hand? Okay, now, oops, 
I am restraining myself to the point where my teeth hurt. <laughs> I want shelves here. I really, really do. But I don't think we have tall enough shelves. We might have to. Make our own. This one is stretchable. Do we want the wood, the white painted wood, or do we want I think white painted wood? how far apart I actually want them until I put them. Okay. Now. How do we want to do this? We can only stretch it that way as far as I remember. Let's see. Because I want to stretch it, I want to stretch it all. Yes, that is the move. Let's start by doing that. And the same on this side. Okay, not very deep, but that's fine. Because then we actually can place stuff on these shelves. got all excited and double clicked oh wow all right hold on I've learned something we can make these shelves wider Is that enough or do we need an extra one or two Then the next question would be, do we leave that and then put an extra one down? I'm guessing so. Outside of the beam. Yes, it does. Interesting. Oh, yes, it is. It just doesn't look like it is.
read the back of that on to me. So, bookshelves, coffee tables. I'm having fun. Let's just stand on the ground and see. These are equally spaced. I think we need one more. So it won't, it won't place because These are placed two apart. Each one is two apart. So I think I need to finish it off. bottom a little bit excited with that one One side it looks right, on the other side it doesn't quite look right. So one of these is out. Okay. Then Anything I don't like about this is it jumps when you select it. So even though you've lined it up perfectly, it doesn't always listen. Okay. Without faffing, I think that's good. Now let's get that one. That looks better. That's like we meant it. And that's not too deep. But I think it's really cool. Okay, and then we can put stuff. I'm not going to put the stuff. I am going to step back. But it actually, I think it looks good. The only thing I'm going to do is put something here and I think that something's going to be a picture. What the picture is, I have no idea. But we're going to go for the narrow frame, go with the ebony and let's see what we've got here. I'm looking for something, I really like that. See, that unfortunately starts, as soon as you get too big, you can actually see the edges, which is unfortunate. 
that one, the fingerprint is quite cool. And we can make it a little bit bigger because it actually sizes well. Don't know if that is actually quite doesn't quite fit into the so I have been a little strange with the furnishings so it's not exactly what everybody would expect from the style of the house but I'm enjoying it <laughs> all right so we've got a nice little area here you can put your feet up watch the TV and chill through here we have a huge area that we can entertain in and then we're going to have the swimming pool there so let us have a look in here now we put a ceiling in the passageway which I'm happy about let's see what we're going to do in here this is a huge bedroom it's got a shared bathroom but it's also a huge bathroom and then we've got another slightly smaller bedroom here but still massive so let's start with this room this room looks out on the side of the house there's no patio out there which is fine i'm okay with that the question is how are we going to do how are we going to decorate now we've got a fairly unisex bathroom here it's got the double sink it's got a lovely big shower and that major big bedroom there so let's furnish this almost as a guest guest suite Something really cool but chilled. I don't know about the plasticies. I like either that or that. Maybe that. That would be quite cool. Let's buy it and we can play with it. How's that sound? We can probably place it bit over and then we can have a, a chair or a desk in there right I'm going to keep the color of the walls I am NOT going to be I might add something to the color of the walls but I'm not going to change the whole wall color if that makes sense the floor on the other hand is subject to change. Let's see how what we can find the bed. Maybe a don't like that texture that they've got on there. It's just too light, it's just too flat. The walnut's not bad. The birch is not bad. I always take that down slightly. With the stain. I don't want to take it too yellow, but again, I don't want to push it too pink either. So let's do that. All right. Big fan of white, as you know. 
mattress is white. The details, let's see what we're going to do with the duvet. Start at the bottom and work our ways work our ways up for a change. No, definitely not what I would expect from this house. That might work. It's also pretty. That's what we have in the main bedroom. Quite like that. Then that is really playful. That might be fun. Let's see what colours we've got. We can do the blues. See what the blues look like. Where was I? There. See what the blues look like. And then, what is this? Glossy leather, I don't think so. Let's go with a suede. And we can go for a slightly off-white. Let's see what that looks like. That actually is quite pretty. Yes, let's do that. Now I just have to remember what finish I used on the bed. Okay, so now this is the bathroom here, so I'm going to put cupboard probably along that wall because the bathroom door is literally right there. So let's see what we can find for the, in the way of wardrobes. And yes, there are ways of building wardrobes too. In fact, those little little things I used for the, the, the coffee table in the living room. Perfect for wardrobes. memory in your face and this one you can't swap where this line is which is unfortunate maybe we can go with that oh what did i do oh filters right next door to each other all right let's see what we can find here let's put it on here that works and then we can just maybe change the base Just drops it down. Takes it off black. Yes. Because in fact it's not black in here. It's also the chrome. I think that works quite nicely. It's simple enough that it's not going to overwhelm. I don't know if I want to put beams in here. I like the fact that it's not got the chunky beams in the bedrooms. Maybe that's just me. All right, we would like some. Okay, those match. Yeah, let's get those. Quite nice that you can lie in bed. Watch the sea. I want to do that. 
I'm far away from the sea. It's about a six or seven hour drive from the sea, which is sad. I'm wondering if I should put Instead of beams, maybe just a, a very gentle picture rail around it. Don't know. Maybe just pictures. Let's find a nice big mirror. I want a big one. How big is that? Oh, huge. That's bigger and it's soft, so that'll work. Oh, let's just buy it and change the color. Is there a longer one? I would like a longer one. Easy. Perfect. Let's take that down to the chrome so it's not so black. Quite high in here. But hey, that's the joys. And then we can maybe get some armchair, maybe one armchair and a an ottoman. This is definitely going out on the patio. These are going out on the patio. How about that? That could be fun. Or is that just mixing too many styles together? Yeah. No. Yeah, that's just way too lush. Okay, we're going to default back to our to our favorite chair. We want it actually here and then a little table there. Do we want a desk? Do we want a bookcase? Huge Ottoman. In comparison to the chair, it's like gigantic. Maybe not. It's also gigantic. going to have two chairs in here. But, uh, do we want them both patterned? Yeah, let's go for both patterned. Trying very hard. I'm buying it and then I'm going to change the wood. No idea what the wood is. What we finally ended up with. Okay, and then the top. Oh, 
sure. Let's do that. Got a huge, huge. Do we want a TV in the bedroom? The TV in the bedroom. Huge. Go for the neck size down. Because you know. Really don't need mm, maybe okay I am looking for a picture hello Thank you. Now we're looking for something. I don't want a generic sunset, sunrise. They only allow so many these days in here. Yeah. That would work. Can we get it bigger? How big can we go? Where would we place it? In the middle? Over the bed? That actually works beautifully with the colour scheme. But we need something here. Be not too dark. Let's see. Same one. No, it's too different. Now again, thanks to Unsplash for these. Free downloads. Uh, not exactly, but it will do really well. Maybe. Uh, no. I had another one like that, long ways. Let me know. Is that okay? I'm not sure. All right, let's get some lights. Red side lights. Mm -mm. The choices. The choices. It's okay. We can do some more lamps.
definitely place one over the mirror maybe depending on brightness over the bathroom door Just give it a nice soft light, I'll be honest. I'm not a big fan of bright bedside lights. I don't know if we need more. I actually don't want any more in here. I could be wrong. I frequently am, but I like it. Now what are we going to do with this floor? Light grey. I know for a fact the grey goes blue. How do I know that? From the bathroom. If you look at the tile on the wall and the tile on the floor, these are exactly the same colour. In fact, the exact same tiles, except I've made them smaller. You can put this tile on the floor and it turned that colour. So that works. Whoops, I cannot fly. So that works okay for me. Let's see. There is a carpet that we can resize. Going suede. I have no idea what color blue is in there. But this one. No, it's nowhere near that one. It's more of a royal blue, isn't it? Ew. I forgot to change the edging. <laughs> not perfect, but not bad. Can we no. that's not the resizable. Okay. We don't need a very big one. Yeah. then the chairs are just going to have no carpet underneath them. But I think I would like to put some flowers here. So I always like to put flowers. Mint 
Ooh. Hmm. Lots of tulips. So pretty. We can put a unit underneath here. I don't know if I want one right now. I can come back and decide when we get there. Now this bedroom is ginormous, as you can see. And we, the other floor <laughs> was that color it was just to give me colors to build rooms. Ooh. Hello. Do we do we have a missing missing tile? I mean brick here. Yes, we do. Come on. One more. Only want one. Thank you. Seriously? I was wrong. Okay, sue me. Better. Much better. All nice and neat. Now with these windows in here, I'm wondering what I should do. I'm thinking of putting, I don't know if I should go with this blue floor because I mean, what the heck? Let's see what color that actually is. That is actually that color. How is it that color? Is it really that color? Yes. Wow. Okay. And if we take it down one, what color does it become then? It becomes purple. How? How? Riddle me this. How? That is just the weirdest thing. All right, let's play with some colors, shall we? If that is that, what color is that? That's actually a very nice colour. Okay, I like that colour. Yes, we're playing with colours right now, so I can decide what I'm going to do in this room. Okay, if we do this one. I like all three of those colors. The purple, not so much. See, maybe this one. Let's see how it looks. See if it's. What are we looking for? OK, 
Okay, so that one is that color. Believe it or not. Very interesting. Hmm. Where do we want to put the bed? That's an interior wall. That's an interior wall. That's quite not a bad place. say this don't I okay can you see the difference between the floor and the wall it just bugs me I was thinking we could do picture rail type thing but just with a flat line and that didn't work because the colors are weird is through here. Okay, so we could do windows here. What is through here? Okay, that is the passage. But we could do windows in there. Let's see. Let's just take the precise placement off because then it goes wonky. Hmm. It doesn't want to pull further down because there's a roof in the way. Can we make it? Okay, that's just weird. All right, maybe not. We can maybe size it. Do that. Or is that just too weird? Hmm. Although it is nice to have that light. it's really pretty now this we can use as a dressing room slash goes ding sorry 
think I'm going to use those same wardrobes that I used in the other place. Let's see if both of them fit again. Yes, they do. They fit nicely there. And we can probably put a dresser. snapping stop snapping thank you and then there's your dressing area which is stunning and then I think a work area here maybe I can imagine sitting here and writing a book while looking out at the ocean, what do you say? I'm going to do all the things and then I'm going to choose the colours. add-ons. I'm sure we've got add-ons to that. That's also for free. Doesn't have the same shape legs. Don't want to build a desk. That's so much chunkier. I like when I can Okay, this is the one Okay, that's in the window, but that's all right. Yeah, I know that is too chunky. Do I have to build a desk? <clears throat> We've got a console table. Sorry, I'm running through all the things now. These are much too wide.
The only other thing is a picnic. We can do something. Sure, but now I just have to decide which one I like more. You know, that works with this. All right, let's change this to that. And then we can make another little extension here. We can use the plywood and those little bricks that we used for the big bookshelf. But I'm not going to do that yet. I'm looking at the room and deciding colors. What do we want to do with this duvet? Ooh, fuzzy. No. Why is it? Why is it? <laughs> why is the duvet fuzzy? Um, look, we've got that which will tone perfectly without any any hard work of any description. But uh, that's just like too easy. That's also very cool. And we could probably go, we're going to have to probably go one down. pretty good and then we can maybe go with the chrome looks pretty good with the floor the other alternative would be to Look, it does lead to a lightness, but the room doesn't really need it, simply because the room is so big. Oh, whoops. Um, I'm going to go with beach. Seriously? That is definitely not. Okay. I think that's pretty good. We can put a nice big mirror there, some plants, sofa. Oh, let's find a little sofa and then I'm going to call it a day. What do you say? we put the sofa hmm no, 
let's put this over here. We're going to extend the desk, but not that much. There we go. Sort of blends with the general aesthetic of the house. Don't know if we've got pictures that will work. Oh, hold on. I saw some. We've got these. Even that will work. That is very cool. Yes, I know it's not supposed to go this way. That works. A bit smaller. A little bit better. Yeah. Again, apologies to whoever created this in Unsplash. It is sideways, but it still looks good. Guys, I'm going to leave it here. <laughs> I've said that already, and this time I mean it. So thank you so much for watching. If you've got this far, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Like the video. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you soon. Bye.